day two. Got to the Tulangi Reserve last night. What a great spot to camp this is. Look how good it is. Probably can't see, it's too dark. Nice grassy campsite. Awesome spot to cook the dinner over there. Both up pretty early today, so we've got to try and get some K's into the legs today. So let's pack this tent up and uh, get moving, eh? Look at this. Beautiful morning, heading out of Tulangi. Absolutely ripper. What a morning! Wendinka, welcome! Thank you for letting us pass through your beautiful land. Trees are amazing. Good old hiker bike. <laughs> Worst skid ever. <laughs> Here's our elevation map. So we're right in the thick of a pretty serious climb. So Vinny pointed out to me the, earlier today, or yesterday, that my superpower is hiker biking. I actually find it quicker to walk up a hill that's quite steep, like this one we're currently going up. I can walk at four or five kilometers an hour, which is a lot less work on the body walking than it is riding the bike for me. My tips for hiker biking are, having your hand on the seat means you can have a nice upright body position for walking. Just try not to feel like you're pushing the bike and walk the most efficient way you can. Also gives the body a chance to use some different muscle groups. If you're hunched over the bike, you're probably not being that efficient. It tends to, sometimes the feet splay out to the left and the right when you're walking. Feel like you need better grip, but if you're actually walking upright, you've got a better body position, better grip, and uh, way more efficient, and you'll get to the top of that hill heaps faster. The track just more and more of that I'll be on the road again soon this is getting ridiculous you got a chainsaw in there bro Just across the Akron River, looking beautiful. That was another brutal hiker bike. Vince just said that's the hardest 40 or 50 k's he's ever done. And it's probably be up there with mine too. At least it's rideable, this single track. Makes a change from hiker biking. Hey, it's been a bit of a tough affair, but perfect day. You couldn't have had better conditions, could we, really? A bit of full disclosure here. This morning was absolutely 
brutal. The trees, the descents were just loose and so steep. So there was just no reprieve out of Tulangi. Bit underestimated in my behalf, I reckon. Something to be learned from that. 900 meter climb wasn't gonna happen today to get us to Big River Road, somewhere to camp tonight. So jumped on a shuttle for 30 bucks. Thanks Lake Mountain Shuttles. So finding a campsite on Big River on a long weekend is proving to be quite difficult. Lots of campsites are full. Hopefully we find one soon. The camping gods have been good to us. Third time lucky here, man. <laughs> Grass, flat, pretty quiet. And the river is just in there. <laughs> 